That's good. Yeah, well, I mean, that's what uh, that's what Mike Tomlin told Russ. I don't know why he keeps doing this to Russ. Why he keep oh, doing this? You got God. Russ getting the start, starting reps, and then he out here saying like, "Well, Justin Fields, you know, you did your thing." Also, I find it funny that Najee Harris has his best day when B Rob is out. I don't know if they trading powers or something, Joe, but that's just for Mark. Like the one game B Rob out, Najee go crazy, and then when B Rob come back, Najee look look like me out there. But the streets are saying let Russ cook. Is it a is it? Oh man, I'll say is it a, still a mistake if they start Russ? I might as well just go with that. I mean, y'all could read the question correctly, but I just made I just went on the flim. Fly. I am tired. All right. <laughs> What's the still a record right now? They four and two. Four, four and two. two. Worst game that Justin Fields has had as far as like his progression. I'm gonna say is the Cowboys game because they should have won that game. And most people are saying if they had a competent quarterback, these are what the streets are saying. If they had a competent quarterback, they would have won that game. Me, I really just think that if it wasn't raining and they were to run the ball some more, they would have won that game. If the other pass rusher, I can't pronounce his last name correctly. If you watch any other Nate Harbury, there we go. Nate. Nate Harbury. Yeah, Nate. Nate did, Harbury, I think. If, if Bro didn't go down, <laughs> I think they win that game. To keep playing the fence like this with these two quarterbacks, is Russ actually healthy? Is he fully healthy? Is he healthy not, enough? Man. Like not like eighty percent. Like is he ninety nine point five percent good to go out there? Because I see what they're doing. I think they're trying to give at least two good games from George Pickens so they can trade them before the deadline. So they're trying to find another quarterback who's going to throw the ball down the field so they can be like, all right, are we going to get a six or a seventh round for him? Because at the rate he's been acting, that's the only thing y'all going to get. But if he actually produces, then you could probably get between maybe a fifth and a third, depending upon who picks up the phone. And that's the only reason I really think they start in Russ at this moment because the morale with the team is with Fields. Like, Fields is a confidence type of guy. You go out there, and you you put Russ out there, and he have a bad game. Meanwhile, Fields ain't hurt. How you think you gonna feel when he get back in there? Is he gonna turn up? Maybe, maybe not. But for me, I think it's a mistake at this moment. If Russ is not a hundred percent healthy, and you fully don't believe that he's gonna be a starter for the rest of the year, you might as well just keep playing Fields. Carl. All right. So, is it a mistake if they start Russ? I think so. Um, I don't think the problem with the Steelers is Justin Fields. I think the problem with the Steelers is Arthur Smith, the play caller. I even asked Javon Sunday, bro, what is going on? Y'all brought Arthur Smith in to establish the run, and he just sits there and drops back fields so many times and don't even give teams the threat of the run. Um, I think Najee Harris had like four carries with like five minutes left in the second quarter or something like that, and he, had, he was averaging six yards a carry. Yeah, four for 24. That's not still his football. So, again, my issue isn't Fields. Fields, is he's been worldly? No. But he's been a serviceable, I would even say solid starting quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Glad you said it, Tomo. Against the Cowboys, I feel like they should have ran the ball more. They tried to throw the ball all over Dallas. Dallas' weakness is stopping the run. Why are we not running Najee? Um, so... I think the Steelers issue goes beyond the quarterback. They need to get back to Steelers football, which I'm happy they're not doing as a Ravens fan. But to be unbiased, they're not playing Steelers football on the offensive side of the ball, and that's the issue. So if he starts this week, I think it'll be a mistake. But Phils hasn't been playing well, y'all. Against the against the uh, y'all Tomo Cowboys, he didn't play good. Even yesterday, I don't think he – Sunday, I don't think he played that good. The score is a different – you watch that game, yeah, he had two rushing touchdowns, but throwing the ball, he wasn't good. It was one possession. He had three straight bad throws, and then they got off the field. I mean, like, we're talking about guys were wide open. So, I do think if Justin Fields play against the Jets this, this, week, this weekend, I think primetime, either Thursday – is, is this no, week? Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. the Broncos and Saints. All right, Sunday night. Oh, the Broncos Thursday? Okay. So, Sunday night, they play the Jets. And if Phil's look like he has the last two games, I think I wouldn't be upset if he put Russell Wilson in the game because he feels like that there's another level they can get to offensively uh, with Russell Wilson. Um, because Justin Fields, although he been – Javon was right, he was growing. And then once he played the Cowboys, he hit a – he went down, and I feel like he went. He went. He he didn't grow from that last game, you know. Um, 
And I'm with you too, Carl, because Najee Harris had a really good start. Really good start. They went away from that. What I did like about them more, though, Justin, they used Justin Fields more as a runner uh, these last couple of games. I feel like they've done a good job of that. But I wouldn't be upset if – nah, this Sunday, yes, but the next week I wouldn't be upset if they start Russell Wilson. But their offensive line is terrible too. <laughs> I mean, he used to that, you know, coming from Chicago. Oh, my goodness. It was one play when the offensive line was, was lost. Y'all saw that play? Oh, uh, was it Broderick Jones, I think? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah. So there's still his next two opponents is the Jets and the Giants. Well, and next then, three opponents. Uh-huh. Jets, Giants, Commanders. Well, next uh-huh. four opponents. Well, since we got the Chats, let's just go crazy. They got Jets, Giants, Commanders, Ravens, Browns. Oh, they got they got the whole chat lined up. It's Jets and the whole chat. Yeah. Except for the Jets. No, no he said. The Jets, then, then the Chats. No, oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Who, who are the uh, Browns? Bengals. And then the okay. Browns again, then the Eagles, then the Ravens. Dang. <laughs> they got the, yeah, they for sure got chat. Yep. They not gonna have a day off, huh? No, I'm gonna be on the show. All these <laughs> consistent. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that Ravens one gonna be funny. Man, have right? RBO written up early. <laughs> I mean, well, if he was a Wizards fan, he could be done in like 30 minutes. But 30 seconds. Sorry, oh. <laughs> I didn't hey. get it too, bro. I know. I had to take a shot at somebody. I'm about to say, did you see the Shaq in the food moment? <laughs> I would say 15 seconds. I seen TikToks longer than what this the, hey, what Kyle, the segment will be. Same name. <laughs> I can't wait to be on RBO. Like, <laughs> hey, RBO like, will be funny. Me and Tom are gonna be on RBO together. We're just killing our team. Gonna be there. I'm more than me. Tom no, no, more no. than me. Yeah, well, I say you a little higher, right? Yeah, yeah Tom more than me, but yeah. Oh gosh, hey, look. Let's talk about my other team. Dang. 